Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to have a go at drawing another animal. And today it's going to be how to draw a vulture. Okay, for the vulture, you're going to want to start with a petal shape. So it's going to be curved on one side and a bit more pointy on the other. So just in the center of your page, nice and big. Let's draw the curve a bit first. And let's bring it into a petal shape. Like that. Then we're going to want to go draw a curved line from about here to about here. It's going to be it's the vulture's wing. Okay. Then we're going to draw a rectangle just floating up here. It's going to be the main part of his head. Just a whole rectangle like that. Then let's draw his neck. So next, just going to be two curved lines connecting the head and his body. Then we need a tail. So just hanging down. Just want a curved line there curved line there and a straight line just joining them up. Then we're going to think about um, the fur around his neck maybe. So this can be some like zigzags around here. Just like that. Then let's give him a beak. Vultures have very big beaks so not quite the same length as this line just a little bit shorter. I'm going to just bring a nice curved line down underneath his head. And then from about here near the bottom, just bring that line down and I'm going to just join it into a point there for the vulture's beak. So then let's think about his eye. Um, vultures aren't necessarily very nice, so let's give him a mean eye. So to do a mean eye, we're just going to do a slanted line from top to bottom, like that. And then just join that with a little semicircle. Give it a little dot there for his eye. For his eyeball and then we've got a very mean looking vulture maybe give it a little mark on his beak there for where um, the little air hole is then we need to think about feathers maybe just little triangles on the underside of his body below his wing do that all down there and then let's give him some legs just really simple two straight lines going down and then let's get some curved lines for his feet. I think three on each foot should be plenty. And there we have a vulture. Now I can color this guy in. So I'm going to go for an orange beak. Nice bright orange beak. Take your time. Stay in those lines as we always do. And there's his beak. And then let's think about maybe he's got a pink head and a pink neck. Careful when you're colouring his head, you want the middle part of that eye to stay white. Really neatly colouring around it. And then do his neck as well. I'm going to leave that fur at the bottom of his neck white. And I think the rest of his body, we're just going to colour it in, in a light grey colour. You could use darker grey, you could mix lighter and darker greys together. And let's just colour around this white bit. Don't want this to get any colour on the fur. I'm going to use the thick part of my pen to do this nice and quickly. And there we have our vulture. Um, one other thing you could do is draw some more branch that you sat on. Maybe there are branches all over the place, so let's think about maybe some 
angled sort of zigzag branches you've got coming up here like this maybe from here he's on a he sat on one of these branches I think would be pretty cool maybe I'm using really sharp angled lines for this it looks really effective yeah and then you could color those in if you wanted to color them in brown time don't rush like I am just doing this quickly so you can see the finished product nearly there just a little bit up here Hope you enjoy, hope you have a go at home, and I'll see you in the next video.